Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Ingebrigtsen and I am using a very cheap webcam. It does not zoom out. So this is the best you're gonna get. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to do a short video on the math that explains to you very clearly why uh, anthropogenic global warming is nonsense. Uh, sure, the same people who have been going on and on about global warming are now calling it, quote, climate change. And the reason they do that is because if anybody argues with them and says, no, you're wrong, they're going to say, oh, so you don't believe that the climate has ever changed or ever can change, right? And so people have to go, no, 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 we believe that the climate has changed. We, we believe that the climate does change. So then, therefore, humans are causing the climate to change, right? No! Now, let's go into the math, shall we? If you ask a scientist who knows how much CO2 is in the atmosphere, uh, how much CO2 is in, in the atmosphere, ask them the question. Uh, they will tell you that there's 400 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere. If you ask a scientist who actually knows the answer, how much CO2 in, uh, by weight, by volume, is in the atmosphere, they'll tell you 720 gigatons, GT, otherwise known as billion tons, of CO2 is in our atmosphere. If you also ask a scientist who really actually knows the answer, how much of that CO2 is put into the atmosphere by humans emitting CO2 from our vehicles and various other technologies, uh, part of the processing uh, methods to create gasoline or whatever, our artificially emitted CO2 is only 6 gigatons, 6 GT. 6 billion tons out of that 720 billion tons of CO2 in the atmosphere. Now, the math. Divide 6 by 720. You will get the percentage of 0 0.833%. Or 0 0.832. Let me see. Calculator. 6 divided by 720. 0 0.0083333333333. Multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. And you get 0 0.8333333333. Percent. That's less than 1%. That's almost 1% of the CO2 in the atmosphere. Okay. Now to find out how much parts per million that is of the entire atmosphere, we're going to multiply that 400 parts per million earlier number, which is 0, 0.0. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. First, divide 400 by 1 million. then multiply that by 100 and you get 0.04% of the atmosphere. So CO2 is 0.04% of the atmosphere then multiply that percentage against the next percentage 0.8333% and the number you get let's see here times Was that again? Okay, zero point eight three 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 percent, and the answer you get is zero point zero three 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 two. Multiply that by one hundred to get a percentage, and the percentage is three point three 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 two percent. 
So, about 3% of the entire atmosphere is the CO2 that we are putting into the atmosphere. And the fear mongers would have you believe that all of our human activity putting CO2 into the atmosphere, which is putting 3%, just about, if you round it down, of the, uh, of the atmosphere in there, that we're affecting only 3% of the atmosphere, that our doing that is somehow causing the entire Earth's incredibly complex climate system to change catastrophically. Does that make any sense to you? It doesn't make any sense to me. It makes zero sense, not even 1% sense to me. We are not causing the climate to change. In fact, the climate hasn't changed in over 20 years. Let me repeat that. The climate of the entire planet Earth has not changed in over 20 years. The Earth's average temperature across the entire year, every single year for the last 20 years, has not changed. It has not gone up. It has not gone down. It is level. Average, as in the temperature going up and down and 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 up and down, has averaged out to be level. Hasn't changed. It hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't gotten better. It hasn't gotten hotter. It hasn't gotten colder. Its average is flat. All you have to do is look at the actual temperatures. The actual temperature records. Not the ones that are being manipulated by the fear mongers. The actual data. The raw data. Even if we, the American people, completely stop putting CO2 into the atmosphere, it's going to change nothing since China is putting out way more CO2 than we are. And they're going to continue putting way more CO2 than we are. Why? Because they need it. They need the energy. CO2 is the natural byproduct of burning fossil fuels. And I do think that we need to get off of fossil fuels. Just not for the reason that the fear mongers are telling you. We need to get it off we need to get off of these fossil fuels because of all the actual toxins that they release into our air, into our water, into our soil, and it all gets into our bodies and it hurts us and it kills us. So yeah, we should get off. We should stop using it. Just not because, oh my gosh, we're going to destroy the planet. No, we're not. We're not going to destroy the planet. We're going to kill ourselves. That's what we, we should be concerned about. Yeah, we are destroying the environments of our planet, the various environments. We are destroying ecosystems. We are destroying species. And we got to knock it off. But it's not CO2 that's doing it. I refuse to take any guff about this. When I breathe, I am not damaging the planet. When I fart, I am not damaging the planet. No amount of fear-mongering is going to convince me otherwise. Anyway, so I'm going to leave links in the comments. And you can go and study for yourself. Alright, I'm done.